Six, sexually transmitted diseases and the potential impact of social media. The latest state report shows STD rates in Sacramento County are rising faster than anywhere else in the entire state. And in California, there's been a 45% increase over the last five years. Pretty concerning. So why is Sacramento County getting hit so hard? CBS 13's Lamore Abrams is live in downtown Sacramento getting answers for us tonight. Lamore? Hey, Tony Adrian, health experts tell us that this latest STD spike could be hitting millennials the hardest. And they think with more and more young people moving to Sacramento, many of them are ending up on dating apps. But they say they could be swiping right to their next doctor's visit. The digital search for love has always been controversial. I don't think it's a proper way to be introduced. I think that there's been very few instances where it's ever resulted in a long-term situation. But doctors are now worried about the possible health consequences of popular dating apps. It's uh, those casual hookups. Sacramento County Public Health Doctor Olivia Casiri partially blames those easy anonymous hookups for a spike in STDs here. Compared to the rest of the state, Sacramento County now has the sixth highest rate of chlamydia, eighth highest rate of gonorrhea and 10th highest rate of syphilis. What you find with that is they have multiple partners that they don't really know as well. But health experts say the new data could also be due to better reporting. I get tested every six months and it is really important to just know your status regardless. This couple tests for STDs far more often than they used to and it just so happens they met online but were open with each other from the start. You can't assume that they're clean, negative, or that they don't have anything. So you always have to be up front and ask. But what about prevention? Doctors say people were more aware of condom use during the HIV AIDS epidemic in the 90s. People are not as afraid of uh, STDs. Officials say they're working with the community to get the word out. Some local bars even offer free condoms, and some dating apps recently added locators for STD testing. And for another helpful condom finding resource, you can visit our website, cbs13.com. Tony Natrin, back to you. All right, Lamore, thanks so much. Still to come here tonight.